Google Workspace versus Microsoft 365, the real difference. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling one of the biggest questions in business tech, Google Workspace or Microsoft 365, which one is truly better? So if you are a business owner, IT manager, or just looking to boost productivity, this video will break down the real differences and highlight what's new and can help you in deciding which platform fits your needs. So starting off, what are these platforms? Both Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 offer cloud-based productivity suites designed to help teams communicate, collaborate, and get work done from anywhere. They both offer email, document creation, file storage, video meetings, and host AI-powered tools. But their approach, strengths, and user experience are very different. Starting off with Google Workspace. So this is the admin console of Google Workspace, and this is a real-time web-based collaboration tool. It has the ability for multiple users to create, edit, and manage sheets, documents, slides simultaneously with instant updates and suggestions. And they have in-app chats with direct editing to make everything more seamless. Now, comparing that to Microsoft 365, you guys can see they have Microsoft Copilot and then you have Teams specifically that is built for communication within your Teams. And you guys can proceed with any one of you know the applications that you're using within MS 365. Now, within this, they have deeply integrated desktop applications for documents such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint with advanced formatting and offline capabilities. Co-authoring and change tracking are robust, but collaboration can feel less instantaneous than Google's web-first tools. Now, when it comes to communication, you guys can see that Microsoft has Teams. They also have email, obviously, and they have Outlook as their email tool, and they also have Viva Engage. Whereas if I was to compare this to Google, they have Gmail, Google Meet, and Google Chat. When it comes to storage, Google Workspace has 30 gigabytes to 5 terabytes of pooled storage per user, depending on your plan. Now, with Copilot or with Microsoft 365, your storage is going to differ. So depending on the plan that you have, if you have a personal plan, you have one terabyte of storage. If you have a family plan, you have six terabyte of storage, which is one terabyte per person. And as you upgrade to more um, business plans or enterprise plans, your storage is going to differ. So if you compare this to the business plans, it is going to be slightly higher. And then you have multiple different plans, including teams, nonprofits, or additional services. Now going into integration and and security. Google Workspace is AI powered. It has 2FA, strong privacy, and Copilot or Microsoft also has some great security features. I personally don't find a difference when it comes to security on both of these platforms because both of them are doing a pretty amazing job. You guys can see over here directly if I try to go back in Microsoft 365, then I am not able to create or log on. So I would have to go back into MS 365. Let's say I want to use Teams over here, then I would have to go into Teams and then sign on once again. And then I can just click on sign in over here to proceed with my login on Teams. So security is pretty great on both of these. They have specialized compliance tools as well. When it comes to integration, Microsoft 365 integrates with a bunch of other business softwares, including both web and full featured desktop applications. So it doesn't, you know, limit you to only one certain type of application or only the MS suite. Whereas Google or using Google Workspace is going to limit you. How? Because you only can use browser-based apps. They have a marketplace and the marketplace has thousands of applications. However, this is going to be limited to browser only applications. So if you are looking to, you know, upgrade to some other applications, you would not be able to do that as of yet because this is a cloud based system. Now, what is new in both of these platforms? Starting off with a Gemini AI assistant, this allows you to create Gmails, documents, sheets, slides, meet and chat easily 
you can have features like help me write which are going to help you in creating spark replies automatic note taking meeting and image generation with docs and slides so if i open up a doc and i get started with a blank document over here you guys can see forward slash and then on the right side i have the help me write feature and then let's say i want to write sops for shipping and then i can just click on create over here and then it's going to create the document for me and then i can click on insert or further refine these as well so it is strongly you know integrated with multiple different ai features which i really do like and gemini advanced notebook lm plus for deep research brainstorming and advanced data analysis are available on google workspace this is especially helpful when you are trying to get a trend analysis when you're trying to do some research if you're doing r d then gemini and notebook lm are great tools to use within google workspace now moving forward into Microsoft. So within Microsoft, they have Copilot's AI expansion. It's not as uh, strong as I would say Google Workspace is, but it is pretty decent. It generates summaries, audio overviews, advanced reasoning, and we even have Copilot Studio, which lets us organize and custom build AI agents for unique workflows. Now, each one of these platforms is pretty easy to get started with. However, if I was to discuss the pros and cons, I'll show you as some of the pros and cons this is microsoft 365 and this is copilot and if i want i can go back and go back into you know one of my microsoft applications previously the interface for this did look a bit different but now it just looks slightly different now with Microsoft, first off, the cons include less collaboration. It's more complex with its administrative controls and there are higher costs for advanced features. And when it comes to the general pros, it has robust reporting, security, integration, and they have deep feature rich desktop applications. So even if I want to use Microsoft Word or PowerPoint directly within my device, that is easier to do. When it comes to Google Workspace, however, However, it has limited desktop apps, it requires online access, and there's a learning curve for advanced features. However, it's intuitive, it's real-time, it has seamless AI tools, and it has a strong mobile and browser experience. So what is going to make or break your deal? Oftentimes that is pricing. The lowest pricing on Workspace or Google Workspace starts at $6 and goes up to $18 for their Business Plus. Whereas their Business Premium on Microsoft, you as you guys can see is going to vary so microsoft has different pricing for different inclusions but 22 dollars is their standard pricing for business premium and their basic pricing starts at six dollars as well so the pricing is pretty neck on neck both platforms offer 30-day free trials which is pretty decent so which one should you be choosing? I would suggest to choose 365 or Microsoft 365 if you need advanced desktop apps as well as robust compliance and device management. However, if you want something that is simple, real-time, and collaborative and your team prefers Google's interface because that is something that a lot of teams do prefer and you value integrated AI tools, then Google Workspace is the tool for you. So both are excellent choices, but the differences come down to your workflows and priorities thanks for watching and if you found this breakdown helpful make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech comparisons and let me know in the comments down below have you used either one of these platforms share your experience or questions in the comments don't forget to check out the free trial links and i will see you guys in the next video